Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new tutorial. For this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful baby cardigan. And uh, just wanted to share this. And I am going to start doing the tutorial with the yarn details. I will give it to you. So this is the finished look. I finished it. That's why I'm putting it on the beginning of this tutorial to show you how it looks like, the end result. So I'm going to be mailing this to the United States of America. And I uh, just wanted to show you how it looks like when it's finished. I did end up using a one and a half, so 150 gram of yarn. So you need two balls, so 200 gram uh, to knit this cardigan. Okay, so uh, let's get started on how to knit this beautiful cardigan. Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit this baby cardigan. Uh, it's between zero to six months, depending on how big your baby is. Uh, my son was born over 10 pounds, so he was like a three months old. So that's why I knit one size that fits up to certain uh, months of a newborn baby. Uh, for a newborn, if it's a premier baby, of course, this is going to be pretty, pretty big. So uh, what would I would recommend is using, a, if you're going to be knitting for a newborn, I would recommend knitting with a thinner yarn. This is knit with four weights, so uh, it's merino wool. Superwash merino wool, so uh, you can toss this in the washer. Um, I knitted this over 10 years ago. I've been knitting this uh, this kind so far and this is already on my Etsy shop and uh, my customer she requested a pink so uh, I went into my stash like this is big for a newborn again it depends on how big the baby is I have the measurements I provide that on my Etsy shop so um, I think I used over 100 gram maybe 200 I'm not sure with this yarn and I made buttonholes. It could be both gender because it has the blue sky as well. It depends on uh, your preference. So uh, it's top down. It's a Raglan uh, cardigan. So I'm going to show you how to knit. And uh, I already wrote the measurements. I do apologize. I am not a great drawer dry like I, I draw, draw as as, uh, as good as I can and it's really hard so I put down zero to six month old okay just a raglan <laughs> just ignore this part I just wanted to show you that it is a raglan and uh and it's done in one piece but this one I did it's sewn so I'm gonna do seamless without no sewing involved this one I did you know, over 10 years ago, you learn stuff and then you get the habit of it. So I don't do a uh, uh, seam anymore. I do them round and around so I don't have to sew it up. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to cast on 75 stitches, 25 for the back, 10 for the sleeve, shoulder area, and 8 plus 5. 5 is the button uh, band area right there. And 8 is this right here this part it gets blurry for some reason this part is eight and this uh pearl stitches are um five stitches here five stitches here so eight ten twenty five ten and don't forget the one stitches for the increase right here uh, we, we have one stitches on four of the increase area and uh yeah i for this one i think i did three written it's not even three when you look at it. It is three, actually. Four. You can do five. I think I should do five, yeah. Um, so uh, this part is you can make as many ridges as you want. 
Okay, and it's very easy and simple. So today's Friday. Um, today's Friday, May the 24th. We're going to start this and let's see when it's going to, we're going to finish it. I'm not going to sit down and non-stop knit it. Just want to point out, like I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a cleaner. I have a basket full of laundry. So uh, I will do those. What, today is Friday. So by I mean, I'm going to be doing other stuff. So I'm not going to sit down and just knit this just to point out. So uh, let's say, and I did have other orders. So I'm putting those aside. They're not in a rush. Well, this is not in a rush, but I, I'm, I just got excited because this is one of my old, 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 uh, um, like I said, this is, I think I did this in 2013 and I did have custom orders. So, uh, I found this yarn in my stash and I just used it up. I used the entire, entire yarn and I did uh, camel toe at the edges just to finish all the yarn that I had. So I have nothing. I didn't have enough even do, to do the sleeve and the collar area. Just think about it. Okay, but I will do that. This Well, this is going to be for a girl. <laughs> so I'll do picos. You know, for a girl it would be nice. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to go over this measurement as well. Okay, it's better because it's variegated. It's really hard for to show up here. Okay, so here for the reglon, as soon as we start the collar area uh, i'm just gonna see because of the yarn and the texture uh, maybe i'll do five maybe i'll do seven ridges and i will show you those ridges i do go over this on my all most of my tutorials but this is going to be showing this cardigan so i will show you all the details tricks and so on and i am planning to do short row at the end i don't do short row and i did not do short row on this one because i had no clue what short row, short row means that it wasn't this popular over 20 years ago think about it so uh, you don't get that habit but now i'm in the habit of doing short rows to give this back uh the fabric high well um it looks like th this the fabric is high but it's not as you can see you, if we put these uh, equal, see, if we put these equal, the, the back of the fabric is, uh, it, it, maybe I did do short rows, I can't remember, maybe I did, I didn't even block this, because it's been in my containers. Yeah, I must have done short rows because if you look at it, the fabric on the back is higher than the front. So that's what we're aiming. So it's more comfortable for uh, the baby to wear it. Okay, I will do the short row at the end. We'll divide the body parts. And then uh, what I do, I have plenty of yarn. So I will just finish the, uh, the body and then I'll go on to the sleeves. So what we do is we knit four inches. This is for a baby, uh, four inches, and then we divide the body parts. So we go down and then we make our increases and then we divide the body parts four inches. That's all you need. Okay, and for the, for the height of the, from the underarm to the hem, I knit it four, this one is four inches. So I'm planning to knit, I don't know, five, five inches for a newborn. Again, it's this is between newborn to a six months old. Okay, and then for the sleeve, what I did is from was dividing the body parts, I did five inches. When you count, measure this part. This is five inches. I already have a tutorial on how to knit the stitch. I will put it I will uh, pin it, but uh, I will show you again how to knit this stitch. This is knit this way. It, it is not brioche, just to point out, this is the wrong side of the work. Okay, and this is the right side. Okay, we're going to do the sleeves around and around. And I did not do any in uh, decreases on this one. 
as you can see for a baby you don't do decreases for a baby sleeve because you want to fit it nice and comfortable but instead of doing i'm going to do decreases on this one instead of uh, for adult i usually do about eight rows to ten rows to do my decreases on this one i will do ten 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 maybe i will get rid of three or four stitches so uh, it gives that nice look on the sleeve this one i didn't do any and for the buttonholes we're going to start making buttonholes at the beginning because this was for a boy i did it on the left side of the cardigan but for a girl we're going to do it on the right side of the buttonhole okay and how many do we have four four buttons four or five i have these nice pearl buttons that i will sew it up and this is all to it again this one you can make five ridges here i only did three as you can see and here i did two three four ridges including the bind off so ridges are these that we count and this is the wrong side okay so good let's get started okay so you saw this beautiful card again this is my own pattern that i ah uh, like i said i never wrote, wrote it down and i just counted the numbers and i wrote it just uh, half an hour ago this so yeah just to show if you want a screenshot let me make it clear enough so you can see it better yeah, the, these are the numbers. Okay, so let me put this aside. So the yarn that I have, oops, that I bought from Turkey again. These are one of the baby, uh, baby best, Alize. Alize. This is called Alize. I've been <laughs> listening to other hosts. They're pronouncing this Alize in English. But this is a Turkish name, Alize. A-li-ze. Eh, eh, there's an eh at the end. Like my name is Frida. There's an eh, 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 e at the end. So there's, you have to pronounce that e at the end. <laughs> Anyways, it's called Aliza. This is a very popular yarn brand actually. And it cost me $10 for one scheme, one ball of this uh, to bring it to Canada. They don't sell it here. You can't find these yarns in the stores. So uh, that's why we pay double, double custom fee, shipping fee, blah, blah, blah. It adds up to, so it cost me $10 for a hundred gram of yarn. But is it worth it? It is definitely worth it. It has 10% bamboo and this feels so soft and it's plus and anti-peeling and it's, it's going to be fantastic. So, uh, yeah just love it love it love it she asked for pink variegated and this is the perfect pink for a baby so let's get started and i have these beautiful addy what was it can't remember what was it called just and i did knit a couple of times with this uh unicorn addy unicorn because of being pink, I guess. I have no clue why they named it. So I have five balls. I have plenty of yarn to knit a baby cardigan. Okay. So. I'm going to pull up the yarn. I wish they had a pull. It's not nothing here. Okay, good. So it's nice and soft. Okay. So it's, it's asking me to knit with a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle if you want to crochet it it's between two to four millimeter knitting uh, crochet hook but as you guys know i'm a tight knitter tight crocheter so i use number five to give that equalness I sh actually i should be knitting with a 5.5 uh but i want it nice and nice knit so uh, i'm gonna start with um uh, my throat let me grab some water okay so i'm going to cast on 75 stitches okay 
if you are a super super tight crochet knitter you can cast on on with two needles but i'm not that super super tight i'm just a tight knitter okay and i'm let me just move this you've got the picture of this beautiful cardigan and it's blurry just gorgeous newborn oh I was 24 years old when I had my son. I did not knit my son a cardigan. And when he was born in December 28, there was nothing to put put like for him to wear. And uh, my mother ran to Zeller's. We had Zeller's then. And she bought this six month old uh, sweater, a cardigan for my son. And it fit him exactly because he was, he was a big boy. He's still a big boy when he was born, over 10 pounds, yeah. So uh, I'm just casting on and uh, 75 stitches. I don't know how long this video is going to take. I will stop it. Pa I, there's no pause button. So I will stop it and I will edit. I will add the videos at the end. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 14, 16, 18, 22. Okay, let me cast on 75 and I'll be right back. I have cast on a total of 75 stitches and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to purl and I'm going to use the purl technique because it's easy for me to... Um, uh, knit purl because I do the Turkish style neck over my, uh, the yarn over my neck it gives me the tension and so I'm going to knit like uh, I'm planning to knit five ridges because this yarn is a little bit thinner than the one that I have uh, knit this doesn't give me what weight this is but it's telling me to use a 4.5. It's supposed to be a four weight, but this is like, a, I would say a light four, maybe even a three. So uh, you need to count that as well. Okay, yeah, it doesn't give me what weight, but with the number 4.5, four, so it should be a four, but this is not. So I'm going to try to knit as close as I can, because like I said, I'm a tight head knitter. And this is a four, actually this is a five millimeter knitting needle. Okay, so I knit. This is going to take me a while, so I will knit and then I will come back to show you how many ridges I have knit. Like I said, I'm planning to knit five, but I'll just look and I'll check with the other card again that I have knit and see if if i don't like the five ridges i will knit seven like you can use you can make your own judgment when you're knitting this card again like i'm not telling you to knit five ridges like if you want it thicker the collar area you can make it seven ridges depending on your uh, knitting okay so i'm just going to continue knit uh i'm knitting like pearl side yarn on the front so uh if you are if you like to knit, you can knit two sides to give the pearl effect. But like I said, I like to knit, knit it this way. And uh, it's nice and smooth. Okay, so I will knit and I will come back. This is only for the collar area, but we're going to make a buttonhole. Don't forget that. Um, I wanted to do the buttonhole a couple of rows later just to show you here it looks like i did two ridges well if you count one two ridges and then i did the buttonhole okay and i'm planning to do the buttonhole in the middle this one is pretty on the edge if you button it up see what i mean i don't want this look you know the more you knit years by you get better at these stuff so that's what i'll do uh, I'm going to knit and I will come back to show you how to make the buttonhole. Okay, again, this is for a girl. 
I'm going to make the buttonhole on the right side. If you're going to be making it for a boy, uh, make the buttonhole on the left side. Okay, I'll be right back. I have knitted three ridges just before finishing. I'm going to make the buttonhole. So ridges are like these two and then a third. So I'm just finishing this last row. So I'm going to make the buttonhole on the right when you hold it like this. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, purling three, st uh, five stitches for the button band area. Okay, and uh, let me just knit this one. So five stitches, so I'm going to make the buttonhole right here. So I'm going to knit this, and I'm going to knit these two together. I don't do a yarn over because I don't want my buttonholes to be big. Okay, so I'm just going to knit. And I knit the last stitch because I don't want to give that nice straight edge. I want to give that, that this nice pearl effect, which is a different method that we do to create that. So the wrong side is going to be knit. I'm just going to continue making my uh, pearl. So here is the um, two stitches that we did. So right here, I'm going to pick this stitch this uh, loop right here okay and i'm gonna knit this like pearl and i'm just gonna continue knitting this is all i did so we made our first buttonhole okay and i'm just gonna continue knitting and then i'm going to i just looked at this one so it looks like i did it so uh if you count it here two four six eight Okay, so after eight ridges, we make the second buttonhole. Again, this is going to be, um, I'm going to be knitting on the uh, right side because it's for a girl. For the boys, we do the buttonhole on the left side, just to point out. Okay, so I'm just going to continue knitting. The way I look at it, see, uh, when I look, this is... Uh, this is the right side when i look at it this is three maybe i'll do two more ridges and i will finish it i will start doing uh, dividing uh, i will uh, put the body parts and then i will go from there so i'm gonna knit two more ridges so i'm gonna make two of these more to make total of five one two three two more five i'm not counting the bind cast on See, this is how I do it. It's called a pearl cast on. Gives this nice effect. Yeah, okay. So let me just finish uh, making the ridges and I will come back. So we're going to make the body parts and then we'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been knitting and I noticed uh, it's really going nice and smooth and I just love the texture how it's creating when I'm knitting with this five millimeter knitting needle with this gorgeous yarn. So uh, I, I, five, I, I, I was planning to do five, but four is enough of the thickness for the, for the newborn baby collar. It's really nice and soft. I would highly recommend this yarn. Okay, so we're gonna start making the body. I already did this part. So uh, five stitches is going to be pearl so this is for the button the band area again so one two three four five okay so we're going to do knit stitches so from right here on uh, just wanted to show you so it's just going to be knit stitches on the body part okay So knit stitches, yarn is on the back. I always try to explain that <laughs> if you're a new knitter. So what we're going to do is we're going to do eight stitches here. This is for the front. I'm not counting the button band area. Let's make this clear enough. It's showing blurry. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight. Okay. Here I'm going to put my marker. And before I do that, I'm going to do an increase. To do the increase, this is how I do it. And I've been doing this method for years. There are other methods. You can do a yarn over, but I don't, I do not like to make holes. When you're making a yarn over, it gives you that lace effect. So what I do is, let's knit this over again. So I knit the stitch, but I don't let it go. And I pull this. And what I do is I turn this part right here. And I grab the stitch from the back and I make a stitch. There, like I said, there are other techniques, but I like this technique, this way of uh, making an increase. Okay, so I made one increase on the front of the cardigan. So I'm going to put my stitch marker and I'm going to make another increase. So this is the increase. Every time I see the stitch, that means that you need to make increase before and after. The after means when I'm knitting this one. So I knit this and again, I hold it like this and I hold it and I make a stitch. So I made two stitches. So one stitches from on the part on the front and one stitches is on the sleeve area. And I'm gonna knit 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm not gonna let it go. I'm going to make a stitch and I'm gonna knit this one and I'm gonna make a stitch. Okay, just like this. Okay, so I made a, one stitch for the sleeve area and one stitch for the back. So the back is total of 20, 25 stitches. And, uh, I'm not make, putting the pattern. Uh, you can make the put the pattern, but I did it this way and uh, looks classic. So I'm gonna knit until I come to the marker because I already counted 25. Again, if you want to make a bigger card again, you can increase these uh, numbers. The number 75 to begin. You can increase that to 80. Uh, just add a couple of stitches on the back, two stitches on the back, two, one, two stitches on the sleeve. I wouldn't increase much on the sleeve area, and I'm going to be coming to make a tutorial because uh, for me, when I'm knitting for myself, uh, for some reason, uh, my sleeves are always wide. So uh, I found a new technique, so I will come and show you how to do that. Again, it's Reglan top down to knit. Okay, here again, I'm going to make a stitch. So knit one, make one, knit one, make one. So that tutorial is going to be coming, but I don't know when because I got a couple of requests to make tutorials. So. Uh, I need to make them before I start that. And I do have others that I want to make tutorials. It's just time consuming the moment. Okay, so again, I'm going to knit and then make one. Knit, make one. Okay, the sleeves is 10 stitches again, and this is the eight we're going to knit eight stitches so we're counting one two three four five six seven and there should be five stitches here so i'm going to move this more down now so five stitches is pearl these are pearl because it's the button back Okay, so I'm going to let you knit a total of four inches. We need four inches, and then we're going to divide the... Before dividing the body part, I'm going to do short rows, but I'm, I do my short rows different. And I will come and show you how to do that. So three... This is all pearl. This is the wrong side. So we're just gonna purl all the way. And then when we come to the front, don't forget to make your increases. 
and then do your knit stitches and buttonhole don't forget to make your buttonhole i'll come back to show you how to make the second buttonhole and then uh, we'll go from there other than that lots of knitting involved and this is knitting like a dream like butter <laughs> just love this i haven't been knitting with this yarn for a long time but uh just love it yeah this yarn is pretty nice to knit with if you can f get a hold of this yarn I would highly recommend baby blankets, baby sweaters, cardigans, jumpers, rope. Uh, yeah, I have so many tutorials that I have to make. But again, it's all time consuming because I'm trying to finish my whips. Yeah, but this one I'm starting and I will finish it. Okay, and then you will see the knit stitch are showing off. Okay, so I will come and I will show you how to do the second band this month. The, the one that I showed you was eight ridges. Maybe I'll make six. Well, I just need to measure it because I don't want it long enough and I don't want it short. So I'll just figure that out and I'll be right back. I am going to make the second buttonhole. So I knitted two, four, six, and I'm starting the seventh ridge. So uh, that's, and I am doing on the right side on the right side this is wrong this is right and on the right side of the cardigan when you hold it like this so on the button pan band there's five stitches i am going to knit the two uh, no knit the one knit the one and knit the two and I'm not doing any yarn over and I'm just continue knitting. And then on the wrong side, if you're working on uh, small items such as baby cardigans, this is how I do my button bands. But if you're making a, a bigger item, you can do yarn over, which I never do because uh, these button holes gets bigger. I'm going to be sewing small buttons. That's why I'm not doing any yarn over, which I prefer. And then I'm picking right here when you're knitting, I pick this loop and I knit that. So I got rid of one and I'm making one. So that is my buttonhole. Okay, just to show you. So it's the third stitch. And I continue knitting just like this. I knit, knit, knit. So I only knitted let me just measure it and show it to you when you look at this way it's uh three inches three inches okay so let's measure this total to give you an idea okay i am counting from the beginning so it's a total of four inches. Well, actually, it's five inches, if you look at it. Yeah, I made a mistake. It's not four inches. It's five inches. So I just did my second buttonhole. I'm right here. And I, do, I will do my third buttonhole. That is when I will uh, come back to show you. So I'm just going to continue knitting. Continue knit. Make your third buttonhole. And then knit uh, two more ridges I would say and then we will divide the body parts okay but uh, I want to give this height a little bit so on the back I will show you I don't want it to look like this see so what I'm going to do is I am going to knit two one and a half inches to give this back height so instead of doing short rows that's what I do so I will come back to show you that. And uh, I do get this question a lot. How do you divide the body parts? Uh, if you go into my videos, I already show them. Um, but uh, I will show you on this video as well how to divide the body part. Dividing by body part means is separating the sleeves, the front, the back, and uh, so on. Which I usually put them on... Uh, circular knitting needles my stitches some people put them on yarn some people uh 
I don't know, they put them on stitch uh, holders, I guess, the, those long tools. I don't have anything to show you. What I do is I just grab a knitting needle and I slide the stitches and I will show you how to do that. So, uh, yeah, I will be back to show you after uh, doing the third buttonhole, okay? And then knit two more ridges and uh, we'll co I'll come back to show you, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I have been knitting and uh, this is so far. I measured it's about five inches. I finished my um, fourth buttonhole and this is how it looks like. Okay, the collar area is a little bit wider due to the bamboo effect. Yeah, you have to think about that. When you're working with bamboo yarn, it <coughs> bamboo yarn it does get longer or stretches easily. So I am going to do the crochet uh, around the neck area. But if you're working on a adult, you can just leave it. But uh, other than that, this will even fit for adult. The numbers that I gave you, seven to five inches. All you need to do is continue knitting. For a small size, I knit seven inch, extra small, I knit for seven inch, six and a half to seven inches down. For a uh, medium, I knit about seven, seven, seven and a half uh, to eight for a medium size. Uh, for a large, you just need to wear it and then put it on and see how comfortable you are. For myself, I knit about 10 to 11 inches. I'm a two, between 2 extra, 3x. Uh, for extra large, I would say 9 inches. Large, I would say 8.5, 8 to 8.5. It depends on the yarn again. So uh, when I measure it from the button band right up here, it's 5 inches. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start dividing the body parts and I'm going to do my last uh, 16. So I, I have total of 15 increases. So I'm going to make my last, so 16 increases. You can count that as well. Okay. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't know what happened here. My camera actually my uh, tripod okay, anyway so I'm going to use different needles okay and uh, I'm just gonna move it to a different uh, needle okay so I'm just gonna continue knitting up to the underarm so five stitches again this yarn is pretty good it doesn't split I only had one knot here still using the same ball and uh, fortunately it goes to the front I didn't notice that it's not even a knot so I am um, This is how you divide the body parts. But I'm going to continue knitting the back about seven rows or so. Uh, for adult, I usually knit uh, two inches. Okay, so I'm going to make, I'm going to knit and then I'm going to make. Okay, I'm going to knit and then I'm going to make. Okay, so this usually goes to the front. And this usually goes to the back, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I am moving to a different needle. So this is going to be the sleeve area. Again, I'm making my uh, 16 increase. Okay. 
I like these needles because they have the grip on them. And sometimes with some yarns, it, it is difficult to knit with these needles. But other than that, I really like these needles. And the other bad thing about it is it, I lost about two of, of, of my needles. The wire popped up. First, it started to come out. Well, it didn't pop up. It broke. If, I, if it pops up, I can usually glue it. But uh, this one, it just broke that part. Okay, I'm using a small needle, but that's okay. I'm trying to knit as loose as I can. Okay, so again, this is the sleeve area. And I'm not going to do any increases. I'm going to do decreases on this one. But not too many because it's a baby uh, cardigan. We want it to fit the baby nice and comfortable. So for baby, uh, we don't do much decreases. But on this one, I am going to because I don't like the sleeve area. And then we're going to start making the stitch. Uh, first, I wanted to... Divide the body parts. Okay, so I'm making one. Okay, and I leave this just like this. So uh, this part, I'm leaving it to the front, uh, the back, the back area. So I'm going to continue knitting with this needle. Okay, so I'm grabbing this. So again, I'm making my last increase. Just like this. So I'm going to knit all the way to the other side. And I'm just going to repeat what I did. Because uh, usually uh, when I'm knitting the back to do to give that to create that short row effect, um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going. I usually do my increases on the both sides for adult clothing, but this is going to be for a baby, so I'm not going to do any more increases. So this is going to be the last increase. Again, like, like we're going to knit about seven rows or so just to see how going to look you don't have to uh, put the in the live uh, stitches on needles but I do because it's easy for me to continue knitting okay so I make one And I'm going to use a different needle on my um, sleeve area. Knit one, make one. If these are a little bit small, I don't have five millimeter knitting needles. Uh, the rest are eight. I need one more needle to do the front. Or what I'll do is this is the seven, which seven is a, it's a four and a half, so we're, we're okay. but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Just wanted to show you so you won't get confused. Uh, 
Sometimes I usually explain and then skip this part, but I wanted to show you if you're new. Okay, I'm just going to continue because then I need to grab another needle. So I made my last increases. I'm just going to go to the other end because I have to come back here. I don't know if you can hear my washer machine. Our laundry room is upstairs. <laughs> so, I noticed the baskets were full. Okay, so on the wrong side, I'm gonna grab another needle, which I see here. Oh, I believe this is a four and a half, too. They erase easily. Pay so much money, and how I would they erase, right? The numbers. Okay, so these are going to rest until I knit the back. If you knit with a thicker yarn than this, you can knit adult size comfortable with the numbers that I provided. 75 for a crew neck. For a v-neck, I always knit with number 40 stitches. And that's my go-to. Even for myself, all, all I have to do is knit the, uh, the length to fit me. Okay, let me see. Where are we? Okay, so... Knit the last one. Put this aside. Okay, so this is going to rest. I'm gonna come and grab the other end here. Try to knit tight as possible. Under the divide where we divided the parts. Checking if I split the yarn, it, it can happen, right? I'm using different needles, didn't, but uh, it can happen. Okay, here we go. Let's see, so just be careful not to split your yarn. Okay, so we're done. Let this go, and uh, this is the back. It's pretty wide, as you can see, but it does. Uh, I'm gonna wash it and see how it turns out. But uh, and wash it hand and lay it flat. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So we're gonna knit this part a couple of rows and see how it looks. you this is how it looks like when you put it down the button holes are gonna button up like this see nice eh <laughs> it looks nice
Okay, so just uh, from here on, I will let you go and I will come back and uh, we'll put these together again. So this part, I'm going to knit a couple of rows and then I will back, I will come back. The only reason I'm doing this is to give that uh, short row effect for the back fabric to go up a little bit. So you can wear your uh, uh, garment comfortably for the baby to even wear it nice and comfortably. Other than that, uh, I did try the short row on the collar area and no matter what I did, I saw the stitches and uh, the short row stitches and uh, I didn't like it. It doesn't look professional. So uh, I'm using this technique and this is way better. It doesn't show anything when you're wearing your uh, garment and uh, yeah, it's way easy. See, this is one of the techniques that I've been using for, from now on. But if you, you're welcome to use your own way of doing short rows, but this is how I do it, okay? So I will be right back. Okay, so I have knit a total of seven rows. This is how it looks like. Seven rows, so it's about, a, I would say, an inch just over an inch oops my measurement doesn't want to come towards you guys to see so uh i would say one and a half i guess when you look at it so this is enough for a baby uh uh cardigan so again this is the give to try to give the short row effect okay so um i'm knitting we left it here so i continued and we're gonna join from the wrong side as i divided the body parts and I came here okay so we're going to knit this and this last stitch I'm going to knit so I'm going to skip the sleeve area and then I'm going to come right here so this is the front of the body so I'm going to knit these two together okay so I'm getting rid of one stitch. Usually for adults, uh, I don't do it for extra small sizes, but for adults, we add three stitches, cast on uh, three stitches just to give that gap. But this is a, a baby card again. There's enough room here. And then we did the short row, so that kind of added up. So there's enough uh, stitches. So that's why I got rid of it. And I'm just going to continue knitting. Okay. And... Uh, to pick up from the other front, what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up. And when we come to the wrong side, we're going to start knitting the stitch. The stitch is very easy. I will link it. I was just going looking at that tutorial. I called it the beaver tooth stitch because it does look like a tooth when you look at it. It's nice and huge. Okay, so I'm just knitting. And I am going to make another button ba buttonhole, so uh, don't forget that while you're knitting. So we already did three buttonholes. Four is enough for a baby. Because we want to fit where the baby nice and comfortable, nice and loosely. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm, I got rid of this needle. So I'm going to knit, 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 and I will do the same method here, which I uh, picked up, uh, grabbed the front. Okay, so just going to knit five stitches. You will notice that the video is going to be long because I'm adding clips as I go to create this tutorial. So if you notice if it's too long, if you're if you already been uh, subscribed to my channel and you know how I knit, do the tutorial. You can skip the parts you want and then continue knitting. Come to the areas that you want. Okay, so I'm going to knit all the way here, and I will come back, and then we will join the front. Just wanted to show you one more time. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I am at the end and I'm going to knit. And this last stitch I am not knitting. So I'm going to grab the front, skipping the sleeve area, because I'm going to knit those two stitches, the last one and the beginning one together, just like this. And then continue knitting. Okay, when we come to the wrong start, start uh, side, we're going to start the stitch. This stitch is done on four rows of repeat. Okay, and we start the stitch on the wrong side. I was just try trying to figure out. I haven't seen any tutorials about the stitch knit around. And uh, to knit the stitch, you need to knit the, the, the one row on the back. So what I thought is I can do it on the wrong side when I'm knitting the sleeve round and around. So we'll see how it works. Okay, so the th three buttonholes. And um, I still have time to knit the last buttonhole. Okay, five stitches. Okay, and this is done as well. This is how I use my knitting, circular knitting needles. Uh, just don't have to, I don't have time to put them on a little uh, yarn. Just put them on a needle, then continue knitting. Okay, so five stitches. Why is this blurry? Okay, so five stitches, so we're gonna start right away. Um, again, on the wrong side. So we're, it's a one knit, one purl method, but the knit is you usually, we pick up the stitches from here, right? But we don't do that for this stitch. We go to the bottom where here, and we do a knit stitch and we let it go. Okay, and the next stitch is a purl and then we don't pick it up from here to knit the stitch, we go to the bottom. Okay, and that gives that effect, that gorgeous effect, just like this. Okay. And again, this stitch is done on the back. Okay, just like this, this is all to it. And then the three, three rows, so when I come to the right side, I do my knit. When I come to the wrong side, I do my purl. And when I come to the right side, I do my knit. And when I come to the wrong side, I do this technique as well. And it's just a repeat, four rows repeat until the length that you need. Okay, so we did the knit. It's going to be the purl, knit, purl. Knit is on the bottom again. Purl, so knit is not like this. For the stitch, we go to the bottom and we poke our needle and we grab it and then you will see the effect right away see it's a uh, it's magical <laughs> okay so i'm going to let you knit uh the length that you want well i will uh, again i'm going to link uh, i will pin the tutorial so i don't want to go over the stitch i already have a tutorial for it so, uh, and this video is too long. So I will finish the length that I need. Okay. And then we'll come to do the sleeves. Um, before I let you go, uh, I'm going to do the crochet version as well, just to tighten up. It's really, really soft. And I want the baby to wear this beautiful soft, but uh, I want to pick up stitches because it's loose on the collar. Maybe I should have used a smaller needle, but it does the same effect, because uh, I remember I did knit. Bamboo is always like this. It just, uh, it becomes loose, let's say it that way. And then the best way to do the trick is, see we're under the underarm. Best way to do the trick is do the crochet edging. If you don't know how to crochet, I would highly recommend you to use a tighter needles then if you're knitting with bamboo but uh, the end result is fantastic so that's why i love this yarn and uh, it's great for baby items that you will create baby blankets and so on 
Okay, so I will be right back. Let me just finish this. And, uh, yeah, I will see you later. A bit later. So easy. One knit, one purl. That's all we do. But the knit, again, it's not picked up this way. It's You go between here, and then you let it go. I have knit the body. It's finished, so I have wind off. Now I'm going to do the edge. To do the edge, we're going to do single crochets and picots. Okay, so um, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. On the label, it says between two to four millimeters, so whichever you feel comfortable with. If you don't know how to crochet, I would highly recommend because it's really useful uh, to make, to create stuff on your knit items. Okay, so this was the last bind off. So I am going to make a single crochet right there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pico. Well, I'm going to make another single crochet. I'm making this up as I go. There's no written pattern or anything. Okay, so single crochet. And here I'm going to make a pico. To make my pico, I make one, two, three, four chain. And then right here, I make a slip stitch. I go between. And then what I do is I jump to make a single crochet. So I'm going to make about uh, two, three single crochets between. Two, three, and then I'm going to make a peak go three, four, two, four, and then right in between, right here, I'm going to go in and then make my slip stitch. And then I'm going to continue making one, two, three, and then make my pico. One, two, three, four, just like this. Okay. And this is all to it. So I will do this all the way around. Two and then three. I will sew up my buttons. I ended up making a total of five buttonholes. There's another one here. So we have three. I think the yarn split, so just be careful. Okay, when I was knitting, it didn't split, but I noticed it just split. Well, no, it didn't split. What happened was I grabbed the other thing, the other strand over there, which I shouldn't be. So just be cautious when you're crocheting. Two. Okay, so this is all to it. I will go around and I will come back and we will start the sleeve. Okay, so we're going to start knitting the sleeve and I finished one of the sleeve. And um, it's a little bit tricky because you cannot knit this stitch from the front. So what I did is I knitted from the wrong side. Uh, some stitches you can't knit around, but there's always tricks. So uh, I figured that out. This is the first time I'm knitting around. Um, that's the reason on this one I knitted, uh, I sewed it up. See? 
So I went back and forth. Look, I knitted this over 10 years ago, so I'm not quite sure what I did, but uh, there's always things you learn, right? So it's seamless. And I think this would be perfect to, for a baby. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches. And then we'll go from there. But uh, like I said, you need to knit it wrong side, which means from the inside. Okay, so, um, but you need to pick up the stitches from the front. If we pick it up from here, what happens is it will give this uh, edge, which is this edge right here. We don't want this. And we pick up stitches, right? So we don't want this on the front. So I'm going to show you how to pick it up. From the right side. Let me loosen this up a little bit. It's really tight. Can you see? So what I'm going to do is. This is really tight. This is going to be hard for me to knit. Uh. So I'm going to pick up this stitch right here, and I don't want to split the yarn while I'm doing that. Okay, here we go. So, just to check before if you split it or not. So I'm going to tie this, and then I'm going to pick up a total of five stitches, but I'm going to get rid of the two. Okay. I'm trying not to add stitches, but unfortunately, I need to close this gap, which is right here. Remember, we did the back uh, of the body we knitted to give that height, so we need, I need to close this gap here. So what I'm going to do is... Here's one stitch. Two, uh, let's jump to here, two, three, four, and then five. Okay, just like, just, I'm going to pick my, I have a shorter one, so uh, we're going to start from here. Okay. So we're going to knit from the right side of the work, but uh, I need to knit a couple of rows. And to do that, we need to knit purl because we're knitting the wrong side. Unfortunately, this is the only way to fix this problem. This uh, to a uh, knit this stitch and I would rather knit it around instead of sewing it up <laughs> and it's very comfortable to wear it when it when there's no sewing seam okay this part is really tight okay so I'm going to get rid of one stitch So this is one of the stitches. So I'm gonna knit this uh, this stitch together. But it looks like I couldn't grab that stitch. Let me fix. Mm. Here we go. Here's the stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna knit these two together. Okay, so I got rid of one stitch here. And then I'm going to get rid of this stitch. But I want to put a marker so I know where I got rid of one stitch. Okay, so I am going to knit and I will meet you here and we're going to start the, the stitch. Okay, so I am where we started. 
So I need to get rid of another stitch, which I put one here. I didn't knit this one. And then I'm going to grab this stitch together. And then we're going to start the pattern. Okay. And then there would be three stitches left. So uh, we're going to get rid of uh, two stitches a couple of rows later. So here it is. It's really hard to see. So I got rid of one stitch here. One, two, three, four. So four times I got rid of two times four is eight so i got rid of eight stitches okay and then it gives this nice uh sleeve look okay so uh you don't have to get rid of any stitches it's just that i like the shape of the sleeve okay so what we're going to do is one knit one purl so the this stitch i'm just going to go on the bottom as if to knit go on the bottom just a stitch that i'm repeating purl knit purl and this is all to it i don't know how many stitches i have on my needle but uh I only work with the measurements. I don't count how many stitches. Okay. So I'm going to continue knitting like this. One knit, one purl, but knit is not here again. It's on the bottom that we knit. And it gives that effect. See, we can't do this on the front while we're knitting. So that's why I'm knitting in the inside, on the wrong side to create the stitch. Again, that is the reason uh, it won't work on the on the front. If I did it on the front, this is what it would happen. See, we don't want this. We want this stitch nice and uh, 3D looking. <laughs> and then after finishing this, which is where we started is right here here and i'm gonna put a red marker right there to know that i started the stitch right there okay so when i come here i'm gonna start knitting knit, knit three rows So knit three rows and then do the stitch again. Knit three rows, do the stitch again. But I'm knitting um, purl-wise on the wrong side. Okay? If I turn it inside out, this is what I'm doing, right? So don't forget that. So one row we do one knit, one purl. And three rows we do purl. We knit the wrong side. And then we repeat. Uh, I did it, I believe, eight times to four six eight and then i knitted two two rows here and then what i did is i made three ridges and i bind off i bind off that's all i did and this is all to it yeah but uh, again if you want to knit it around you have to knit it from the inside from the wrong side just want to point out that Okay, so I hope this tutorial helps you knit this beautiful card again. And, uh, yeah, this is all to it. So I will finish this. And I will put, put a, at the beginning of the video, I will put a little short clip of me, me showing the finished look of the baby card again beaver tooth baby cardigan okay one knit one pearl knit is on the bottom 
So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. It's very easy and simple. It's just that there's some tricks that we have to do to create this stitch, which I'm knitting on the inside, the wrong side, to uh, knit this stitch. Just wanted to come to the beginning to show you how to start. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button so every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. Okay, almost at the beginning here. So this is my beginning of the row to start the stitch. That's why I put the red marker. okay so uh this is where we did the what you call it we did the we knitted two stitches so unfortunately i can't do uh, uh i can't do knit knit so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a purl on this one and then I'm just going to continue purl, knitting purl. Okay, so uh, we can fix that problem. So we're going to purl three rows to create the stitch. Let me just turn the other side and show it one more time. You guys take care. I'll see you on my next tutorials. Bye-bye. Happy knitting.